You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. Police in Baltimore City have charged a woman with killing her mother. Tony Arnold is being held at Central Booking. She's charged with first degree murder in this case, and police say she shot and killed her mother, Sherry Birmingham. The murder happened on the night of August 16th along Washington Boulevard in the Morrell Park neighborhood. Police have not said why they believe Tony Arnold shot and killed her mother that night. And ATM thieves have struck again in Baltimore City, this time a convenience store in Fells Point. Baltimore police say around 4.30 this morning, four people drove a van into the front of the 7-Eleven on Thames Street. Viewer Beth Hawk sent us pictures of the damage. Once the thieves broke down the wall with the van, they got out, grabbed the ATM, and drove off. No one was injured, but it is at least the second similar crime in the past three weeks. Early in the morning of August 26th, a truck broke through the front of the 7-Eleven at 33rd and Keswick in Hamden. Thieves stole the ATM, got away. There's been no arrests in either one of these cases. Baltimore County is adding some big hiring bonuses for new police officers and workers at the Department of Corrections. Starting with the next police recruiting class, new officers can get a $10,000 bonus for signing up. And starting in October, the County Department of Corrections will offer $5,000 bonuses for new hires and a referral bonus of $5,000 for workers who suggest new hires. Only catch for police and correctional workers that have to work for the county for three years to get the full amount of that bonus. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Tuesday, Maryland. It's going to feel summer like out there today and even for tomorrow. I am tracking our next best chance for some rain showers, even some thunderstorms. And then the 80s will make a comeback and kind of take over as we head into the upcoming weekend. Uh, so looking ahead into the afternoon and into the early parts of the evening, temperatures top out into the upper 80s and the lower 90s with dew points very elevated in the upper 60s. So it's going to make it feel again very uncomfortable out there with some of that hazy and milky sunshine thanks to the wildfires that are occurring out west. High temperatures top out in the lower 90s once again for your Wednesday and then we start to cool things down a little bit as we head into Thursday and Friday all thanks to that cold front moving through but that could generate some rain showers for Thursday into Friday and then looking drier heading into your Sunday. Meteorologist Steve Daniels, thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.